I first met power couple Josh and Angelica Bias at church. They are known for leading the worship choir on Sundays at North Point Church in Alpharetta, Georgia. One Sunday, I just knew I had to meet them after Angelica brought down the house at church that Sunday, yet again. I wanted them to meet me in the woods where we could have conversations. The type that creative, authentic, real people have. I knew I had to have conversations with this powerful couple. Josh and Angelica, welcome to my neck of the woods. It's gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> we're so glad to be here. Tell me you were just a little bit scared when this crazy woman walks up to you telling you how phenomenal you are and that you are the business. <laughs> and then she says, Come to my studio in the woods <laughs> <laughs> to have conversations. Wow, we love right it. Up our alley. Yeah, yeah right exactly. Up our alley. Yeah. We love like, isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah, but it was great. It was I loved great. it. You gave me it was gave me life. I give you life. Oh my God, you are the business. <laughs> we love you. Now, let me tell you, you have such an awesome voice. You, both of your 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 entire choir. But there's just something about you as a couple, as a as a powerful duo. I um you know, I, I remember saying to you that I feel honored that you were allowing us to use your voice so nice. at church. And I'm talking to the both of you. I'm looking at you because you're the business. But, <laughs> you know, your husband brings down the house. I mean, just to have found each other is such a blessing. Yeah. You all lead the worship team every week. And it's just so magical. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, you. Thank you for saying that. Church divine oh wow yeah that means a lot it means a lot music is everything i love the fact that you both bring your 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 musical talent to church which proves that you can be dope and praise god yeah yeah no. yeah exactly a lot of people don't realize that and and you know i even found myself thinking after church like are they a gospel artist or are they because because i was brought up to think that and a lot of people if you are in church you're a gospel artist. Right, right, right. And right. then I started doing the research, and I realized that you are an artist. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out a label, and of course, I'm going to ask you now. I mean, do, do you like being defined by a particular genre of music? I, no, we do not. <laughs> we don't like, I don't like being I put in a so box. good about that. Yeah, definitely. And the fact that you're so dope, and you're praising God, and you're coming to church, and then you can sing whatever exactly. you want, you know, and you love the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, we like to we like to think of it, I guess, as mm -hmm. we're artists that are Christians. We're not, we're not necessarily Christian, Christian artists, artists yeah. you know. And, and I don't think and that it should be so for everybody. It uh, yeah. it kind of is for everybody else. I feel like yeah. if you're a doctor and you're a Christian, people are like, oh, we're looking for a Christian doctor. You know, it's just like no, we nobody, just want a good nobody, doctor. Nobody, nobody goes for a heart transplant and say, I want a right, Christian. Yeah, exactly. that. Surgeon, no, I want a heart exactly. surgeon. Exactly. You know, that classification yeah. doesn't really exist. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, Josh. In other professions. You know? no, it so doesn't. for us, it's just like we're artists. You know, yeah, who happens to be Christian? Yeah, yeah definitely. We to be definitely. We definitely. Love you guys give me all kinds of feelings when you. Um, Angelica, you come from a musical family. I mean, your family owned the first black recording studio in Atlanta correct yeah one of the first yeah one of the first yeah and at what stage did you realize that you wanted to pursue music I think I honestly really realized it at age two I knew it at age I, I knew it for myself definitely at age two but like my my dad is a my, my mom and dad are singer songwriters my dad has owned a studio since he was like for like over 35 years and he's a um He's also a recording engineer, so they had me in the studio at four months. Like we have recordings at four months. Yes, I was conceived in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> That's the business. That's that is the business. business. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Josh, what about you? At what stage did you know that you wanted to do music? So at three years old, my mom oh. comes into, I guess, I don't know if I was in my bedroom, but I had my brother, my big brother's guitar up on my shoulder yeah. and I had his bow and arrow up on the guitar and I was playing it like it was a violin at three years old. So yes. at three, 
My mom caught me doing that. She bought me my first violin. So she got it. She realized yep, that she hey, I have a musician it. on my hands. Yep, she saw it from the beginning. So wow. from three, I started playing then, and then shortly after, started singing. And it's all been and part of the journey from there. So you guys are amazing together. You've been married for three three years, mm -hmm. yes. but you've been together for eight years. Yes. How did you meet? We met through a mutual producer friend. So I was in the working music business. Right. <laughs> I was working I was working with this producer. Yeah. He was working with him too, but we were working separately. Yes. You know, Josh and Josh was signed to an independent label and um so um, I would come in and write songs, and on the days where I wasn't in the studio with him, yeah. Josh would come in and write songs. And he was trying to get us to work together, but I don't really like to write with people. Well, you don't. Because sometimes it just can mess with the, the energy. Yeah, yeah, it does. I feel rushed. Some people write really fast, yeah. so I like to just be on my own time. Yeah. So I kept saying, no, 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 I don't want to write with him. I don't want to yeah. write with him. And then one day, uh, Josh hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> He did. And I knew everything about him because for some yes. reason the producer would talk to me about Josh all the time and I heard his music so I felt like I knew together. him. Yeah. So he reached out to me and asked me on out asked me out three times and I said no. Because he was an artist, so I didn't I didn't want to date an artist. Best then, kind of love <laughs> When you tell them no for a couple of times, <laughs> yep. and then one day, you know, I said, yet yeah, my sister was like, You're not doing anything, you might as well just go. And I went and went to one of their shows and never left my side. So we've been glued to the head. Gave you the business. <laughs> <laughs> All the business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's fun. And you know, yeah. it's fun. Let me just keep it together, okay? Let's keep it clean. This is holy ground. <laughs> so, okay, so you guys are forced together. We know that. I mean, would you ever consider separate opportunities as you pursue your musical magic? I mean, you're both so multi talented. This is an aggressive industry. People are throwing deals at you all the time. Yeah. You've really, since then, um, created a partnership together. Yeah. Have you ever been approached? Would you ever consider, if you were approached, separating your forces? If they said, listen, we needed Angelica to do this, and you saw that this was a huge opportunity. Yeah. You could buy several houses, I'm just saying. <laughs> what would you do? I mean, I'm sure you've spoken about this. Yeah, I mean, oh, we, yeah. we talk about it all the time. I mean, we're definitely, we're still artists as individuals, yeah. you know. We started out that way. We yeah. spent our whole lives that way. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> doing so you're stuff. Open yeah, it just. To one to, if an opportunity came, that was excellent. Um, for the greater good of both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, for us, the most thank, important thank you thing. For being honest about yeah. This. The, for us, the most important thing is that we're able to protect our marriage, mm -hmm. and we're able to protect our message. And your yeah. marriage is not the music. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. As long as the people that we're working with understand that like okay we are married you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so we have to make this work with our marriage yes. and as long as they understand our message yeah. you know because a lot of, we've been approached with a lot of different opportunities yeah people want to sign angelica or people want to sign me and like oh but we want you to be this way and we're like well that's not who we are so we can't it wasn't necessarily the fact that you know we weren't together. Yeah. It just wasn't the right situation. But I mean, recently Angelica's been yeah. out on tour. I was on the, tour with, with Lecrae for like a yeah. a few months. You know, so I was away. I was away from Josh. But it was just like they. Were, I love situations where it's like mm -hmm. they're open. Like it's like Josh. Could, Josh could come out on the road. Nice. Or their wives were on the road. Yeah, or you know, I it was like. Able to handle that. You know, like I'm a <laughs> <the jealous one. laughs> if I, I don't want my husband or my wife going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now if you can't be there, now that's real. I wouldn't go anywhere that he can't be. I wanted to know. Yeah. That's no, that's real. Yeah, no, that's not right. No, that's anything that's gonna jeopardize us. No. Ain't <laughs> nobody team. got time for that. Nope, yeah. not at all. Their whole team was yeah. super amazing. Cool and like that's, that's family oriented. So yeah, I was coming out to a bunch you know? of shows. So you, you guys are real artists. I mean, you're just not singers. You're songwriters. What yeah. are some of the songs that you've written in the industry? Yeah. So far? We did a song uh, with Latasha from the group <laughs> yeah. Escape, and it's yeah. called Bad Timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done some stuff for, uh, uh, did a song for um, Jacquees mm -hmm. um, called Wave to Your Boyfriend, a couple other songs <laughs> I've done with him. Um, I've done some things with, with us. I've written a song with Slim from 112. Yeah. I've definitely worked with like Young Jeezy nice. and um, Pastor Troy. And you've opened for Jason Derulo. I saw that. Yes, yeah. he yeah. did. Yeah, we've opened for Jason Derulo, uh, Trey Songs. Mm -hmm. um, who else have we been? Who else have we opened for? Recently? Dondria. Oh yeah, and we're working on working on some stuff with her. And as we well. opened for her. 
yeah, yeah. open for her too listen um, you guys are the business i am so impressed with you guys i want to get so much more of this i want to be coming to concerts and just keep oh, us definitely. in the loop we sure will definitely. you know it's it's amazing i mean i i just see magic here i mean you guys need to check them out i mean check out your instagram where do you converse most with your fans definitely check out our instagram my instagram is josh angelica music nice. you can find us on there and um yeah instagram definitely <laughs> that's my favorite too we'll that's my favorite yeah. it's, it's the business it's the business it's the business you like that okay we'll be right back <laughs> that's great Woo. Um, you know, I was just thinking, and I, as I was reading about you guys, I thought I'd ask you this question. If you could collaborate with anybody right now, mm. who would it be and why? Mm. I'm just I like, feel, I, I guess we have to think about, yeah, definitely as a group, what would it be? Or mm. a couple. Well, I mean, like for us as a group, it's like, who would it be to work with us? Yeah. Because I feel like separately, the, the the answer would be different, but what together. Well, separately, I would love to, I would just like to collaborate with John Mayer. She loves John Mayer. Really? There's love nobody it. else. Well, let's manifest. I mean, you believe yeah. in the power yes. of manifesting. I, I would love to this. sing with him. I would love. Intention is very important mm -hmm. on Holy Ground. Yes. I think as a group, it would yeah. probably be a producer, maybe a Pharrell. Really? Or, yeah. I, I mean, feel you with Pharrell. Yeah. I feel you. Pharrell, you hear that? Listen. His energy, you know, he's got, he's got the good energy. Yeah, and they have good energy too. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. are the business. I love it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, okay, for all, that's a good answer. But, okay, so this is the next one. If you can switch places with any artist for the day, who would it be and why? Individually. If I could switch places with any artist? Just for the day, though. Because we know you love the your day. life. I mean, come on. Yeah, for the day. Yeah. For the day. If I could, wow, that is a really good question. Well, we question. only ask good questions when we have conversations, okay? This is where we ask you good questions. Mm. But just be authentic. Tell me the truth. Whose life do I like? Ed Sheeran. I would switch places with Ed Sheeran. Really? <laughs> I oh, would. Man. It would be, it probably would <laughs> be like, sense. yeah. Right. I like that he's just so talented. He makes these amazing songs yeah. and that he can stand on stage in a stadium, just him. Yeah. Not even a band and just yeah. the bravery and just sing those like good songs. Artistry. And he's he's not dressed up. He's yes. just, yeah. it's like he just hopped he off the sofa it. and yeah. I like that. You like like that. I, I admire I that. I feel that. I feel that as well. I, yeah. I didn't think, I wasn't like, I wasn't, I didn't think you were I know, right? <laughs> I just love that. I have to expect anything. He and, just looks like I, I pure that. authenticity. I yeah, get that. Yeah. So that would probably be him. Who yeah. about you? What about you? Ah, uh, for me, I guess, I guess Bruno Mars probably. Definitely. Oh that's, that's definitely who. Yeah, that's that's definitely who yeah, would say. Bruno. Bruno Mars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Like we him. love what he does. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, your recent. Song, higher, is it yes. Higher? What inspired you to write higher? Honestly, the thing that inspired us to write higher was it. Well, it was actually a lot of the the killings from um, police officers with a lot of the yeah. yeah. And his friend, one of his close friends, um, was his life was taken by um, by an officer here yeah. in Atlanta. Um, really, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, Ugh. Terrible situation. When is it gonna stop? You know. <sighs> I don't know, cause I just read about something else that yeah, something happened. Else happened. Some other kids that got shot. Yeah. So yesterday. It's, so the so inspiration from the song. Yeah. yeah. It. Yeah, because it happened around the time where it was like the Trayvon Martin thing happened, the Mike Brown thing happened. So everything was, and then it was so close to home. So honestly, it's just something. Just talking about how even now we're still trying to move higher after all these years as a people. You know, well, so. you know what? I have a feeling that you are not going to have a problem with that individually and as a couple. Aww. I see you going high. I mean, you guys, there's something about you. I can't put it into words. And I, I'm so happy that I had this opportunity to have a conversation with you right here. Thank like, you. It, it We're special. honored. Yeah, 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 we really so are. Thank you. Like but before we go, tell me, what's your, what's your definition of happiness? Mm. Oh, no fear. No fear. Mm. Fearless. Like I've never heard that. Mm. That's it. Fearlessness. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. I mean, I might have stole that from Nina Simone. But uh, <laughs> when I heard it, I was like. I heard it, and that's the word for today. That is yeah. it. No fear. Mm -hmm. yeah. I needed to hear that. Believe it or not, I needed to hear that coming mm. into this interview. I didn't even realize I needed to hear that until I heard that. Look, it's that aha moment. It's, it's the, the business. It's the business. No. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What about you, Josh? What's your definition uh, of happiness? Freedom. Oh. Freedom. Mm. Freedom to be who we are. Yeah. How God wants us to be it. How we want to be it. Nice. Especially when that lines yeah. up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I have one more thing to ask you all to do with me. Yes. It's a surprise. <laughs> Okay, so I know you didn't expect this. So I gave you a coin, right? Yes. And this is this is something that I want to I want to hear from you after this. I need I need our followers and our viewers to understand who we are as authentic human beings. As you said, happiness to you represents being fearless, and for you it's freedom, and for me it's both of those things. Mm -hmm. Literally, I I would not have been able to say it like that, but that's how I feel when I'm happy. Mm. I feel as though I'm not living in fear mm. and I feel I have the freedom to live my life the way I want mm -hmm. um, especially with my career mm. I think I'm so blessed to have the career that I do so that mm. I have the freedom to it said happiness is not um, doing liking what you do but doing what you love or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. so that's how I define it and I just think that in this happiness it's a journey and we have moments of sadness even when we're happy yeah because you could be happy and something happens to your loved one. Right. Mm -hmm. But what I want for us to do is manifest. Because I believe in the power of manifestation and intention. Yes. And I want us to use the coins that we have here together. Okay. And we are going to wish for the next thing, manifest that next thing. Let's be intentional about what we want next. Because as, as, as humans, people who are alive, people who are connected with the divine, we must continue to believe that he has the power to provide mm -hmm. yes. for us at the next. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about your next intention, whether it's your personal life, whether it's your career, and put that out there. And we're going to throw it into the stream. And I want to hear back from you when it's manifested. Okay, this definitely. is Holy Ground. Yeah. And I believe that we need to set the intention, let it move with the water. Yes. How about that? Are you okay with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful, so yes. I know yeah. what my intention is, but okay. I'll go last. So okay. Josh, you go first. Mm. Gents before ladies. Set your intention. I need to say it out loud? We gotta no, say we don't no, want to no, know. No, no, okay, 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 you okay, you manifest it. Okay. Set your intention, and once you set it, you throw your coin in, and then we'll all do the same. And my intention for you is that your intention be realized. Mm. Positive vibes. How about that? Yeah, we go. It didn't go in the water, though. You ain't even look at the water. It didn't go in the water, Jack. Oh, it's going to get down there. It's going to get down there. Yeah, the there. water will take it. Some more rain. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, some more rain. So you know, Angelica, just get yours in the water. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if can I stand. Have you set your intention already? Yep. <laughs> That ain't going to water either. That's the water down there. Did it go in? It's water. It ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I should have stood up. Uh, like, well, mine was mine was a little further out that way. It, yours is in the water. Points. Yours is in okay, the water. Okay, so my intention is that everything works out for you all and you continue going higher with mm -hmm. that, that music. And let me think about mine. In the water, honey. Ooh. <laughs> and right in the water, right, producers? Yes. So mine went in the water for all of ours. There we go. The is, <laughs> yours is by the water. So once the water gets... See, so you got a good view. Yeah, get a little stream, <laughs> you get a little stream going. And it'll... Okay, guys. This has been amazing. Thank you. I love you guys. I think that we're going to be connected Thank forever. You. You're going to have a hard time getting rid of me, yes. honey. Good. <laughs> Thank Let's you so much. Group hug. Yes. Group hug. Come on. Mm. Mm.